hello and welcome to this video in this video i'll share with you how to customize the default dawn theme contact form so if you are using dawn theme then our contact space looks something like this like we can assign a contact template but if you want to customize this template from the theme editor there is no option available because only way to add more fields to your contact form like if you want to add phone number address or create a wholesale form just like this with all the details then this is not possible without knowing the code but we can do it without knowing the code with using an app so i'll put the link of the app in the description just click that link and then we just need to add this app which has a free plan so if you scroll down it has a free plan with the free plan you can create one form for completely free with 10 fields on it and with all the other field types and if you want more then you can go for a premium plan but this is up to you if you are creating multiple form and want to also recapture and everything and also export the information then we can uh, consider the paid plan but for now uh, the free plan will be good enough if you want to add more field to it like address or other things like this wholesale contact form have and up to 10 field is available inside the free plan so just click on add app and then install the app in our store and then we can start making the custom contact form for our store very easily using using this free app Setting us to the app dashboard where you can create this form for completely free now they are showing us something like a demo video but you can just skip it so now let's uh, maybe later now click on create new form uh, okay so i think i already in the past created a form i will delete this in your case there will be no form so click on create new form and it will redirect us to this area okay now there is two type of form uh, one is embed so if we want to create an embed form we just need to we just need to go to the premium plan so uh, in that case i just want to embed it into a page so i will just click on this uh, plan so i can uh, just upgrade it to show you how the or you can just uh, so click on create form so now we can embed the form but embed this contact form with a code okay with the short code so you can see this is the form looks like a form template okay so this is the form template looks like click on create and then click on this this option and now you can see this is the form looks like so now you can see there is the field option your name email subject we can add more field like if you want to add um, file upload maximum three custom field click on custom field then what type of field it will be if you want a number click on number use as number and you can make it required okay and then we can change the placeholder okay what the placeholder will be it will be phone number and then we can move this just like this okay and then if you want to create a wholesale form you can add few more things like city jeep address everything you have to click on add field what type of field it is if it is a time box maximum time it will be custom field so click on this then click on edit button and how this will look it should be short text if it is a like zip code it will be short text if it is email you should email if you want to check people from drop down list then you will select this if you want to give multiple choice option then this will be the option and if you want to give paragraph you can also give it but let's give the, this one like if i want to give a zip code i can give if you make it one to required you can give it required or if you want to make it half you can give it half other half will be taken by another field so let's click on add field custom field and let's click on edit button and if i make it again half as you can see it will be moved to the second part now i need to if i go to one of the example of the as you can see there is the address things you can add like street address everything okay like if it is a short text we can add this if it is a long text you can click on add text so you can see the long text has a larger button so i'll go with address and required okay now extra class name if you want to give it now let's move this just like this and this will make we will make this uh, we will make this one inquiry okay will make this one inquiry the message button click on it and then i will make it inquiry inquiry about wholesale okay about wholesale okay 
so you can make it required or not required both is in your case and you can see the submit button submit form or get it now or submit now you can change it submit now and what message we want to show after submitting the form we can do so let's can go we can go to the styling and change the color alignment everything if you want to and other other colors can be changed you can go here and change the uh, uh, change those style if you want to now let's go to the support and notification so what about the notification okay uh, if we want to go to the trigger button fixed sticky button display embed form and then fields we have already given style extra a specific uh, recipient email if you want to send this to a specific email like it is only for premium plan like one of your gmail you can put your gmail here unless you will receive those in your shopify dashboard or in your shopify panel okay so this is the uh, and now if you go to the trigger button uh, display it is embed form so we have to copy this short code uh, in your uh, copy this short code and we have to click on save so now if i want to show this to my dashboard i will to go to the page so now we'll go to the pages and I try to embed the code so click on add page then we'll give this page a title wholesale inquiry form or anything you want then we have to go to our app and as you can see we have to copy this piece of code and click on the show html and paste it here another thing is this form id what this form id is if you see it in the url there is a id for that like this number this is the id click copy this and go back here and then inside the form id just remove it and paste the number here inside the quotation mark okay then click on save click on save now click on view page to see if this is working okay now click on view page to see if it is working so let's see if it is working so it may take some time to load the whole form so please wait for a few moment for the first time so uh, as you can see as you can see it is showing so if you want to hide this uh, contact form like this uh, this title from your page what we can do we can just uh, click we can just come here and select it with the chrome browser inspect and then click on this plus icon and then click on display none okay display none so copy all of that copy all of that uh, go back here and click on show html again and click on style style just like this so it has to be open and close everything needs to be similar and paste the code here so this uh, title will be removed okay now if we go to this tool pits what is the tool pits it is the uh, extras uh, like a recipients style display everything is there okay now as you can see everything is editable as you can see now this title is also changeable like wholesale inquiry form we can make something like this okay so now everything is changeable and we can change it so you can also increase the size of it make it center align click on save and everything will be affected in this area so now if we click on view page we saved it here but it will be reflected here so click on view page so now we will see that our title is gone and also our uh, heading of the form will be changed as well like uh, the heading uh, i mean by heading the wholesale form heading will be changed as well so it is taking some time whole whole cell inquiry form so whole cell should be there submit button and other things also become larger so if you want to control this just come here and just decrease the size whole cell inquiry form so if it is mobile responsive or not click on this as you can see it is perfectly mobile responsive but the submit button somehow uh, i think the submit button chose border color label inline form style form background submit button okay button position should be in the center this is the button and uh, if you want to change the submit button color this is also possible make it completely black will be the best option i think if you want to make it square round round looks good so this is how you can make other adjustment here as well so i hope uh, this will be a great way to customize your default pay uh, contact form and create a custom contact form in your shopify store so thank you very much for watching this video